It's not going to be allowed to fight anymore. So back on the Yggdrasil. Wait a minute. Stephanie. <laughs> you want me to stay here? No, I'm going with you. No, it's too dangerous. Why? I've been in many dangerous situations. This isn't the first time. Oh, our first quarrel. Actually, no. I said no! Get back in the kitchen! We can't take you. Please understand. No! I want to go! We've been fighting together all this time. And suddenly you're telling me not to go? I just don't get it. Ellie, you have my baby. That's our legacy now. This isn't like any other fight. Yeah, this is a final dungeon. And do you remember how many times you died in the last dungeon? It's a battle for the wisdom created by God. It's life or death. Whoever controls it becomes the true dominator of the world. It's obvious the ministry will bring the strongest possible troops. There is no guarantee you'll come back alive. That's exactly why I want to go. You don't have the slightest idea. What do I understand? If the enemy were only the ministry or just mechanical weapons, it would be okay. But most of the enemies will be made up of what were once humans. Humans just like you and I. Also, when will it be released? Why we weren't transfigured into wells? Because this was pointed to last time, wasn't it? <gasps> How dare you! Oh my god, he, he actually hit her? Damn, Faye, didn't, didn't realize you had it in you. I saw them at those facilities. Cures that were made out of humans. They were the same as Hammer. Could you now destroy them after knowing this? In order to save ourselves, can you truly say that you could kill those who were once our friends? So, do you still want to go now? Well, <coughs> you can't even kill one person. Your presence would be a burden during the fight. Uh, just put his hand on her face. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was just wondering. There's a disconnect between what he was saying and his action. Oh, your dad hit her? Because you pimp and strong. <laughs> your presence would be a burden during the fight. You just get in the way. Well done, well done. Now she is sufficiently offended. Hey, Faye. Don't you think you went a little too far there? We cannot blame her. At least we should understand her feelings. Nah, whatever works, man. Like you, can't, you, can't, you can't just uh, spend all day arguing with the woman. I know how Ellie feels. I knew she wouldn't have listened to me if I had just said, You're not coming. Seeing as she has worked together was, uh, uh, with us for such a long time and all. That's why I had to explain it to her like that. The people gathered at Nissan need Ellie. She's got to realize how much people are depending on her. Wait, what? Why the hell is anyone depending on her? What happened to Margie? Oh no 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 no! Ellie's the next uh, uh, mother of Nissan, isn't she? Right. I forgot about that. We saw this last time. I can't put her in a dangerous situation. But the way you said it was a little harsh. <laughs> she didn't have to be so cold. She was crying, you know. But I'm sure she realizes that. I agree. Maybe you are the one who doesn't understand. Me? I don't understand. A lady's heart. She wants to go to be with you, Faye, until the end. Oh man, this is just like Renoa again. Blech. Yeah. If I were you, I'd hold her tight and say, 
Let's go together. Just like that. Really? Um, uh, no, I mean, uh, young master, do it over to yourself now. Ah, uh, shut up. Anyhow, why don't you go ask her to come with you? Whether she'll go or not, you should express your feelings in words. If you really care about her, you have to go tell her. Express your feelings, right? As if she never tried to get the party came out of it. Well, I, I understand, but I'm just talking about this part. It's like... I... I didn't mean... Too late now. Everyone knows it. You're not being true to yourself, are you? I agree. Say, say it straight out. Hey, Emeralda's fine with it. I guess she's not a jealous type. What happened to Choo Choo? Go ahead, go chase after her. What are you waiting for? Damn it! I don't want to do this. Uh, sorry about what just happened. Forgive me. But I want to explain. Now for the first time, people on both Earth and Solaris are becoming one. But then, not all of them are strong like the crew of this ship or the people in Shewat. Even we almost lost sight of our future at times. So you can imagine what regular people go through. That's why people need someone like you to depend on, as a light to guide us. You freed the hearts of the people that have been used as tools by that ministry for hundreds of years. I mean, isn't that exactly what you're saying though, Faye? That people want to be used as tools. Well, how does the saying go? People don't want to be free, they just want a benevolent master. Ellie, it was you! And now your body doesn't just belong to you alone anymore. <laughs> your body belongs to the streets. That's why I can't let you be in any danger. And that's why I don't want you to fight anymore. It's funny, isn't it? Oh, that was Ellie? Huh? We used to be enemies. But now we're together like this. In the beginning. I think I saw myself in you. We seem to overlap. You being in a similar situation as, as I was in. When I was with you, I didn't feel alone or apprehensive. That's why I thought I liked you. But it wasn't that. I simply did have the courage to look at my true self. I turned to you to run away from it all. I mistook that for love. But it's different now. I can face my own problems. I am me, and you are you. Oh, well done, well done. It has all become clear to me now. I also learned that I really do need you. It's not because I need you as a sanctuary for my problems. I need you because I truly love you. Didn't you just say that it wasn't love? It wasn't a codependent kind of love, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, that that is a very mature way of looking at it. Ellie, I know what you're saying, Faye. I know why you're so concerned for my safety. But you know, I'm scared. I feel I feel we may never see each other again. I just have this feeling. Don't worry, I won't die. Yeah, we've got Phoenix Downs. No, it's not that. It's something completely different. It's as if I'm being torn apart by something I can't resist. That I'm no longer me. Even if you come back safely, it's still... It just feels so uneasy. That is why I need to go with you. I can't bear to be away from you. I feel the same way. 
Ever since the time I met you in that forest, I think it's the same feeling that you've been having. I was also running to you. But I have to solve my own problems. I can't throw my problems onto you. There is another me. Eid is within me. I fear that at any moment Eid may awaken within me. You're the only one that has been able to keep me from giving in to Eid. It was because you were always by my side that I was still able to keep from losing myself. Oh, good point! Whenever Ellie was with us, this guy never transformed, didn't he? Hmm, the power of lust. That, that, that's why uh, you should always keep his balls drained. I promise you that I will return. So, that is... Ellie, I want you to be my reason to return. To be my home that I can return to. Ellie, if you will wait for me to come back, even if we are in totally different places, as long as you will stay by my side, I know I'll be able to do anything. Oh, Faye. Time to kiss. Suddenly, anime. Oh shit, they are gonna kiss! No! I was just kidding! Man, the kiss scene in uh, FF10 was the cringiest thing I've seen. I'm just grateful that uh, they never did that in FF8. Actually, they did it at the end, didn't they? Oh, they also spent the night together. Interesting that uh, game would even show this. I don't know who the audience, who, who, who the target audience is, but uh, I seriously doubt that. Uh, what, eleven-year-olds, twelve, thirteen-year-olds? would be able to grasp this I mean not the scene but the game game in uh, in general yeah I'm very interested to know who the target target audience is for this game are you going now yeah sorry did I wake you it's okay I've been awake all along yeah last night together and all all along uh-huh. I was watching over you while you slept. And before I realized it, it's morning. Well, I'm off. Alright then. Do be careful. Yeah, I will. Oh, could you hold on to this for me? What is this? Is this a pendant? I don't know whose it is. It seems it was on me when I was brought onto Lahan. It may be mine, or it could be... It could be? Oh, nothing. Will you just hold on to it for me? Alright. I'll hold on to it for you. She's gonna sell it in the pawn shop as soon as you're out of sight. Thanks. Well, I guess it's goodbye. Oh. Faye. Yeah? Thank you. Damn it, give me back my equipment at least! What now? Uh, what is this place? Ellie, are you okay about this? Don't you want to be with him? Yes, but it's because I believe in him. Just being close to a person is not in itself an indication of love, is it? But men are selfish. When something big happens, they say, It's too dangerous. You can't come. They treat women like we are weaklings. And though it is true I can't help Bart and friends, and friends much anymore, that's not true. Everyone wants someone special waiting for them. Someone who will protect a place they can return to. If you don't have that peace of mind, then you would not be able to get anything done. 
Men try to tough it out as much as they can, and then some. They're cute the way they do that, aren't they? This is surprising. But then again, this is 1998. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we have things we have to do too now. And while we do them, let's pray that everyone comes back safely. To God? No, no, no. To your own innermost feelings that everyone believes in. What is that supposed to mean? What's wrong? I knew it. Yes, that must be it. What? Ellie, it's like everyone says. You must be a reincarnation of Sophia. You have no way of knowing the Nissan sect's teachings. But what you say? Well, it's exactly the same as what Sophia always said. Yes, that might be it. The first time I visited here, I had the most amazing feeling. Familiar. Sad. Like I had visited here many times in my dreams. I still don't understand what that's about. I know where each room is and what's in them. I just know I must have been here in the distant past. So both, say, uh, both Faye and Ellie said that uh, uh, I have lived many lives like many dreams. And there's obviously some truth in it because uh, they seem to recall stuff from 500 years ago. Hopefully they'll be revealed by the end of the game. Before, if you had spoken of this, I'd have brushed it off with a laugh. But now, now, I can more or less believe it. The things I couldn't do then, I'm probably trying to do now. Things you couldn't do? Like what? Yes, things I couldn't do. I think she was asking for some details. So was I, but oh well.